Hi again. Today I am presenting a video on um, this watercolor giraffe that I did. Um, I did not film me drawing and inking it um, just because I was actually in a hurry to to get this piece done for an upcoming um, vendor event that I was going to. Um, I was actually going to like the next day, so <laughs> I was under a time crunch to get it done. Um, but this is kind of a new style that I'm I'm doing. Um, the way I've been doing my my other watercolor paintings uh, with ink is to do the watercolor first, you know, just put all the colors on there, splash them around, and then just kind of decide from there what I want to draw on top of it. Um, but I did this one um, in this style, and it was actually my first one I did in this style. Um, and I really, really liked the way it came out. I'm still doing kind of a loose watercolor, um, you know, not trying to keep it inside the lines, which is really nice because I am the type of person that is like a perfectionist and I want everything to be, you know, as realistic or as perfect as possible. And when I do other kinds of painting, like oil paintings, I will literally take you. To, to finish a painting because I just keep fussing with it and um, trying to get it just perfect. So I found doing these style of, of paintings and, and watercolor in specific, it's uh, so much more freeing and I'm, I'm able to, to get the desired outcome without stressing myself out like I just enjoy it so much more you know not having to be worried about everything being perfect and inside the lines um so yeah this is um this is my my watercolor giraffe um the reference photo that I used to draw this giraffe is actually a photo I took um from my time in Namibia um in Africa I did a study abroad there when I was at the University of Florida and I lived there for a few months. I worked at the Cheetah Conservation Fund there because my, my bachelor's degree is in wildlife ecology and conservation. Um, so I was working at the Cheetah Conservation Fund and we had to do some 24 hour water hole counts where we had to literally sit in a hide in a blind by a water hole and count every animal and list every species and how many. Um, that visited that water hole in a 24 hour period. Um, and it was just, it's a way that they can estimate the uh, population and diversity of the, the species that are, are found on their lands. Um, so I took a ton of photos. I mean, you're sitting in a blind for 24 hours. There's not a lot you can do. You gotta be really quiet, so. Um, so yeah, this is a photo that, that I took. Funny story about, um, well, not really a story, but uh, observation about being in a um, blind for 24 hours. As you can see from um, my, my photo reference here, just because you're in the blind and you're being really quiet and still does not mean the animal doesn't know you're there. These giraffes, there were so many giraffes, and they just sat and stared at you. Like, they knew you were there, they knew something was up, but they couldn't really see you, which I think kind of freaked them out, like made them uneasy, because it was just constant. Like, you swear they're looking at you, but, you know, you're in this, the the one that I was in in particular was a... Um, I think it was concrete block um, on the ground and there was a lot of acacia and um, tall bushes growing around it. And then there was just a really tiny slit um, along the front viewing area for you to, to see out of. And it was maybe like a, a foot tall. I mean, it's not a tiny slit, but in, in comparison to like a regular window, it's like a foot tall gap. Um, 
that that you have to see out of. You're inside this dark uh, building, I guess. I mean, it it literally had sticks for a roof, um, but they're just staring at you. So I don't know. Maybe they smell you. Uh, I'm I'm guessing. Even though you're kind of like inside the building, you would think you'd be a little bit protected from you know the wind carrying your your scent, but um, that they, they know you're there. They're just watching you and you're watching them. And this is what you're seeing for like hours on end. It's just giraffes staring at you. You know, a lot of the other species didn't really pay much attention. You know, we saw blackback jackals and warthogs, dikers, hartebeest, oryx, um, some mongoose, eland. Um. There were kudu around, but none of, I don't remember any of them coming to this particular uh, waterhole count. And I think maybe we had um, some impala or springbok. I can't remember which. I'd have to look back at my photos. Um, tons of birds, of course, but like all the mammals. Most of them didn't really pay much attention, and I think it's because um, a lot of those species don't care, with the exception of the diker. Dikers are pretty secretive, um, and so are eland, but like all the oryx and the heart of beast and oh, dr- uh, zebras. We had a lot of zebras. Um, you know, they see you walking around, you know, they don't. I mean, they're not trying to, like, come up to you or anything, but they're they're a little bit more used to seeing humans. So they don't, they didn't really pay attention. I mean, I don't know what it was with the giraffes. Like they just, they just couldn't get over it. You know, they just sat there and stared for literally hours. So I have a lot of photos of giraffes staring at me. Okay. So, uh, enough Africa reminiscence. I back to the, uh, the painting at hand. And uh, yeah, I just drew it, drew it on there and a little bit of the acacia um, that was around the guy. And now I'm just painting him. Um, The colors that I used were burnt sienna, yellow ochre, a little bit of cadmium yellow. um, And then in the acacia, I used some burnt umber, sap green and some more yellow ochre and then i think i also used some um, burnt umber on the giraffe itself to kind of darken the uh, shadowy areas
So now I'm um, just adding some splashes and splatters to the painting and a little bit of metallic wa uh, watercolor uh, to a few areas. And um, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed watching this and hearing my random stories of living in Africa.